In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. My brothers and sisters, as we prepare for these holy and sacred mysteries, let us pause calling to mind our sins. And so we pray. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christ eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through the Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you and with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of our, your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for this you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear, who will hear of all these statutes and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what na great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just <clears throat> as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise, Praise the Lord, the Lord Jerusalem. Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his, statu his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation his ordinances he has not made known to them. Bless Praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem.
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven and earth. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven and earth. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of heaven and earth. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish, do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen. I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass, pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches other to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We live in a very difficult day and age. In 2020, between 2019 and 2020, the attention span of a youth was 12 seconds. It is now down to eight seconds. This is due in part to a variety of things, absence of parents, but also people playing too much in video games, stuff like that. And here and today we read, we hear a we're reminded in what we hear in the Old Testament, we're reminded also by our Lord that those things that are precious to us, which is hopefully our faith in Jesus Christ, and for the people of Israel, for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, that what they know was what was so precious in how God showed his love and his might in protecting the people that he claimed as his own. And that on Passover, they remind themselves every year. And they do not just gather for a meal, but they also, they, there, is a, there, is, there is a sequence. Why is this night different from every other night? And it is an opportunity then to enter into who they are, that, is, that they're intimately connected to all that that had happened in the past. We do the same thing, but for us, it is the holy sacrifice of the Mass that we celebrate. And we enter into the mystery and what took place a little over 2,000 years ago, or almost 2,000 years ago. So it's, and it's, it's made present in our midst every time we celebrate it. That's why I always tell people, you know, we probably have more in common with our Jewish brothers and sisters in, as far as their understanding of ritual connected to our very lives and who we are. And it's very hard for parents in this day and age for a variety of reasons. Sometimes there's two parents that are both working. And the only thing I can think is if you bring your children to Mass as often as you can. But that's not enough. You also have to share with children your own experience of God in your life, in our lives. We have to be able to learn how to share our own experiences with those that are our children and our children's children. They have to have a connection between what happens at Mass and somebody who has a deep experience of the love of God in their lives. And parents, as I've always said, they need to learn to tell their children about their own life. I, as I've heard, you've heard me say this before, but my dad 
with telling his stories. I've never told you that story. And he goes, I guess I assume just because we lived under the same roof that by osmosis you would know who I, uh, the story of my life. But to share those things and to share the intimacy of a relationship, the intimacy of a relationship that one has with his wife or one has with, his, with her husband, to share the intimacy of the relationship of what it was to be married in a Catholic church and to have that, that covenant sealed, that vow sealed by the love that God first shared with them. And that God is the third person that helps to bind that covenant together. The stories that they share that they realize that God is walking with them and even with the difficult times that if it was not for God they would not be able to have persevered through that. Those are important stories to be shared because otherwise, if they don't have a connection to their life, then they are as part of that family and what their parents and the parents, what they experience with their own family and so on and so forth. And then they, we share that understanding of what sacred scripture is about and what it means to them and some parallel experience that they have with something that, ha that they heard in one of the gospel stories, those things are a means to connect. And, you know, even at the, the dinner table, you know, you, for anyone who's here that, that watched Leave it to Beaver, you know, there was always a dinner table scene. Nobody sits at a dinner table anymore. Nobody has a dinner with the family anymore. When I was teaching, every year I would ask, how many of you sit down, this is over at Mount St. Mary's, how many of you sit down and have a dinner with your family during the course of the week? Every year it got less and less in the five years I taught there. Because that's a time for connecting. We need to find a time to connect as family, but we also need a time to connect to understand our connection with all those who have gone before us that have been connected to God in this gift we call the Catholic Church, in this gift we call a, a people of faith, in what we celebrate every time we come together for the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass and for all the sacraments. That those sacraments are an outward sign that remind us that God is present in those particular times in our lives. And it's, but it's, it's meaningless if they, that's the only time to come. Well, we'll be there for baptism. You know, we didn't come back until first, Holy, for first reconciliation, then first Holy Communion. And then we came back for his confirmation. And then we were there, at, we were there for our wedding. For the wedding of our children. And then after that, it was just, well, we, we haven't been back since. That doesn't make any sense. If there's no relationship to God, if there's no relationship to God in the church, and this wonderful, the gift of the sacraments he gives us, that that's just kind of like, well, you know, that's just kind of, we, we kind of skip through all that stuff. But if we're deeply grounded in this gift that God has given us, then that becomes an intimate time that we actually in that we meet God in those sacraments. I remember my ordination. And it was an awing experience. I remember going back not too long ago. I was at my mo mother's house. And of course, she's got the little album that I gave. And it's got the pictures. And I, I kind of smiled when I looked at the picture of the, the greeting of peace at, with uh, Archbishop Salatka. And I looked at it and I said, oh my gosh, we look like we're dancing. Because we were kind of, his hand was out this way, and my hand was over here. And it kind of looked like we're getting ready to, to dance. But it brought back so many memories because I was flooded with a sense of great joy. And there's intimate times that I experience. We all need to have that. If there's not a connection to God, a relationship to God, then we're going to lose our children. And we're going to lose our children's children. And it's just going to be one of those things that what with this gift that we hold so dear is going to pass away. We need to find a way to connect with them. 
to tell our own stories and our relationships with God as well and share the stories of those ancient stories of old. Otherwise, this greatest of all gifts will end up being lost for generations. And we can't let that happen. There is a fervor that is rising in this country because we want to stand firm on something that gives us a sense of purpose. May that be the faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. May that be our surest foundation. And may we once again raise up and realize what this country was founded on and embrace not only who we are as family, but who we are as a people of faith and who we are as a country that was founded on Jesus Christ and was given the patronage of the Blessed Mother. Trusting in the mercy of our loving God, let us bring to him our petitions. For the church, may God continue to bless and sanctify her, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, may the Lord help them in rejecting all forms of division and prejudice, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those, those who suffer because of injustice, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our community faith of here at St. John the Baptist. May God's law take root in our hearts and in our lives and make of us a bountiful harvest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those who have died, especially Ida, Ita Sarmiento, for whom this Mass is offered today. May she and all who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith soon come to find their resting place in God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers offered before the Blessed Sacrament in adoration and for those private petitions we bring forward at this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, source of all wisdom, hear the prayers we bring before you for the salvation of the world. We ask this to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the your goodness we have received this gift of bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this gift of wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people along with these sacramental offerings and defend those who celebrate your mysteries 
from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our, celebra our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain your faults, our faults, raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep at the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, our beloved patron, St. John the Baptist, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and blessed Stanley Rother, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. A reminder if you're back here for the first time, uh, you can only receive on the tongue on this side. Thank you.
rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. You may have noticed we have some different altar breads. We have still have, we're still getting rid of some of the old ones. Um, the other ones were just, you know, after one disintegrated, literally disintegrated my fingers uh, not too long ago. They're still from the Carmelite nuns. They just aren't manufacturing uh, the, the altar breads anymore, so they're they're, they're outsourcing from, a, from other co com companies. So we still bought it from them, but they're, they're sealed edges so they don't leave a lot of crumbly crumbs in the Saboria. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Give to your people, our God, a resolve that is pleasing to you, for by conforming them to your teachings, you bestow on them every favor through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may every blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go forth proclaiming the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God. Lord,